Good morning everyone, it's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today I wanted to first thank all of the people who did respond to me regarding my video and how you wanted me to make videos whether facing me or facing the nature and I had just as many people talking about wanting the camera to face me as the people who talked about wanting to, it to face me indoors so that wasn't even the option but i'm going to make sure that you know i'm really appreciative that some people loved the videos that are indoors facing me and as much as the people who loved the videos that are outdoors facing me and i think it's easier for you to watch my whether my expression or read my lips or whichever way that you're learning the information so i'm happy to keep the camera facing me Today I'm outdoors and you'll notice that I'm going to go back and forth from outdoors to indoors and today I just thought I'm out on my walk and I've got lots of contemplation that I wanted to share with you. So thank you for all of those people who have responded. I want you to know that I received all the personal messages and for those few people that actually made public messages, the public messages mean a lot to me and the personal ones do too, but the public ones you might know if you don't know. It actually helps other people through Google searches find me. So for people who might find my information useful or beneficial, every like, share, subscribe does help spread this information. So I hope that you will do that. In any case, today I am thinking about the concept of not enoughness. And this idea, I was speaking with a friend yesterday and I talk about it a lot in my work in brain retraining where there is this feeling of not enoughness for many, many people. And we can even say it's a human condition. I know that uh, Buddha talked about, uh, he teaches about suffering and he teaches about how to get out of suffering. And I guess I'm kind of in that style too. So oftentimes people will link things to um, not enoughness. What are the things that people link? Sometimes, many times, it's time. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time for breathing. I don't have time for contemplation. I don't have breathing. I mean conscious breathing where we're doing controlled breaths, right? So I don't have time for that. I don't have time to add something extra into my schedule. I don't have time to get back to friends, all sorts of things about time. I don't have time to change my profession. I don't have time. So that's a very common one of not enoughness. And the next most common one that I see is not enough money. And of course, not enough money, the not enoughness of money often links to an idea that we can think of as greed. So these are brain retraining thoughts that many of us have grown up with, with, you know, enough is enough. And if you've got enough, then stop there. Otherwise you're being greedy. There's a big difference between I have to have more. I want more than that person. I want more than this person. When you're doing comparison, that's more linked with ego. And when you're doing, I know I can contribute more. And even if that brings me more, that's fantastic, right? So that's okay. So it's wonderful to receive more and give more too. So this friend and I were chatting about this idea and there are certain people who are very comfortable with receiving and not as generous with giving. And then there are people who are very generous with giving and they might hold on to the idea of, I know I gave this to this person. And that's where spirituality comes in because there's a faith behind nothing good is lost. So even if someone doesn't give something back to a person, it does come back from the universe. And it was wonderful to speak about this with this friend. I came across this quotation which, which I thought was fitting for today. And it's from, literally, Eric Frum, who is a psychologist of the past. And his quotation is, or a well-known psychologist of the past, I'll say. His quotation is, greed is a bottomless pit which exhausts the person in an endless effort to satisfy the need without ever reaching satisfaction. Big, right? So greed is a bottomless pit which exhausts the person in an endless effort to satisfy the need without ever reaching satisfaction. And you know that in spirituality and even in present moment reminders from let's say even Eckhart Tolle who talks very much about the power of now and lots of philosophers and uh, spiritual leaders and trainers have done this historically. 
now is everything. And now you can be present to this moment and be satisfied in this. I remember years ago, and I know I've shared this with a few clients, I had read this quotation about people who are rich and people who are poor are both suffering. But people who are poor are happier because they think money would help. I love that quotation because honestly, that that thought that money will help and the drive that it provides a person is very different than the person who has money and thinks, why am I still not satisfied, right? That's a very different spot to be in. And this again takes some mindful training, which I'm happy to help people with. I also came uh, across another quote that I'd like to finish today with, which is by Leonardo da Vinci. And he says, the noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. And honestly, understanding ourselves and then understanding others around us and understanding the life experience is a very noble pleasure. But I'd like you to focus on the fact of it's a pleasure. It is such an awesome pleasure to be in the space of understanding. So today, I would love for you to sit down and think for five minutes. Do you have enough or do you have a concern with not enoughness? And not enoughness, again, time and of course money is something that I've talked about today. But there are other things too, right? It could be love. You're surrounded by love. There's so many people that love you, but you don't feel like it's enough. That's a not enoughness thinking. And I would love for you to focus on which areas of your life do you feel are enough and which areas do you feel are not enough? And maybe you can write three of each in the five minutes following this video. I hope you do that and start understanding yourself. And I hope you have a fabulous day ahead. And remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.